Hello, welcome to today's lesson. Thank you for joining me. My name is Wes, the channel. It's Interactive English. The channel's all about trying to help you reach your fluency gold with so many different lessons related to vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, a little bit of everything. And today I think it's a very, well, I said it's useful restaurant vocabulary. So a lot of the words that I'm going to talk to you about today I don't think this is probably, I wouldn't say this is advanced vocabulary. I think it's useful because these are words that are quite common, the, the talking about the things you would see in a restaurant, the people you would see in a restaurant, perhaps some of the questions that they may ask you. I think it's very helpful. And for some of you, I think this will be a, a bit of review. It's great to see so many uh, members here, so many patrons, uh, as well as some uh, students from Speak Up, awesome. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is that typically if we're talking about building vocabulary, I think it's normal that somebody, you might, you might get the word and then you're gonna look at the meaning and then maybe you get a picture to help you associate it with something. We're gonna work our way backwards today, all right? We're gonna do the exact opposite. I'm first going to show you a picture and then I'm going to give you the meaning and then I'll tell you the word. And this is going to allow you because I want you to try to kind of, again, go back through the vocabulary that you already know, to see if you know these words, and I think many of them you will know. And if you know them, please write them in the chat, participate, the, this is interactive English, and I want it to be a more interactive lesson. So let's begin with the first one. This is our first picture right here. You walk into a restaurant, these are two people that, that work there. So looking at those pictures, what, what does this person do? What would you say is this person's job? And these are very important words that, that you need to know. So again, starting with the picture, and then I'll give you the meaning, which is right here. It's a person whose job is to bring the food to customers at their tables in a restaurant. Who, who is this person? And for some of these, I think I'll, I'll try to give you some synonyms as well, because not only will you might, you might refer to some of these words just that one way, some of them, there are synonyms, which I think are also helpful in building your vocabulary. So awesome. I actually, you guys already kind of beat me, you beat me to the punch where you're giving me a, a variation of all of those words. Excellent, uh, Lolly, Gertrudis, um, Sajad, Tenkritika, Yui. So uh, they, there are a couple different words that you could use. If you're talking about the, well, the individual people, you could refer to um, like a man or a woman, a man, you might refer to him as a waiter and a, waitre, uh, a woman, a waitress. So waiter and waitress, I think they're very common. If you want to use a word that's gender neutral, that it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, then you could just say that they're uh, a server. And I think often in restaurants, restaurants would refer to the, these people as servers because it really doesn't matter, a man or a woman. But the customers, if you're talking um, to somebody else uh, and you know that your server is a, a man, then you might say, oh, I haven't seen the waiter in a little while. So I think customers, it's pretty common that they may use the words waiter or waitress, but you could also say server, means the same thing, very common words, very useful um, if you're going out to eat in a restaurant. Another, because we're starting with people. The next one would be this person right here. Um, who, who is this? This is another person who works in the restaurant. You can see by that picture that they work with food. What do you think? Um, is this, uh, I told you, I'd say, we're starting with the picture and then I'm gonna give you the meaning and then I'll tell you the word. We're working our way backwards from what you may be typically accustomed to. So here's the meaning, all right? This is a skilled or trained cook who works in a hotel or restaurant, especially the most important cook. So some of you, I think I saw the word cook. Yes, this person is a cook, but we're talking about a specific cook. And you're talking about the most important cook. And that most important cook is the chef, 
All right. I think all of you, most of you got that. Uh, give some shout outs to Kaya. Awesome. Um, be happy. Perfect. Gustav, good to see you. Welcome. Glad you're here. So this is, again, another person who works in the restaurant. Good to know. Uh, we talked about a waiter, waitress, chef, works in the kitchen. And these are two other people. Now, I will say that the... This is useful restaurant for a vocabulary. This is useful vocabulary for a restaurant. And all restaurants around the world are a little different. They have different setups. I'm from the United States. So in general, it's kind of like that, that's what I have in mind. Restaurants in the United States. These are people who work at a restaurant. I'm not, they're not, in this case, they're not, it's not a waiter or waitress. It's not a server. It's another person, typically the first person that you would meet. When you, when you go into the door with your friend or family or whoever, what would you say? So I told you I would give you the meaning. And the meaning is right here. So this is the person uh, who greets customers as they enter the restaurant. Some of their other uh, job responsibilities would be like they would take reservations. They might put people on a waiting list if there are many people who want to get into the restaurant. And they would bring the, like you or your group of people to the table and they would hand out the menus. What do you call these people? All right. I knew a lot of people are throwing manager in there. They're not managers. Sometimes the manager may do this. I, I will give you that. But there is a specific name for these people. When you go to the restaurant, they would talk to you, they greet you, they say, okay, how many, like, maybe you have to make, a, uh, they would make reservations, put your name on a wait list. What would you say? All right, maybe this is new for, for many of you. So again, you have a choice if it's a, like a man or a woman, you would say that uh, the man may be a host or a hostess, host or a hostess at, a, if we're talking about a restaurant. Some of you mentioned like uh, a receptionist. Receptionist is more, I think, like at a hotel, somebody who's um, down there like answering phones, helping out customers, or like in an office. If we're specifically talking about a restaurant, a host or a hostess, that's their job, would be to take people to the table. Maybe they put people down on the wait list. And oftentimes I think you would see um, you might see a manager, especially if it's very busy. Managers would help out. They might do this, um, and they're helping out uh, get people situated in the restaurant before the waiter or waitress comes around. All right, so today is all about helping you guys build your vocabulary. Um, this one, let me give you a little bit of context because you see that this is a group of people. And what I'm going for is what, what would you call the group? So we've talked about some people that work in the restaurant. If you go and you talk to the host or the hostess, they might ask you a very common question and they're referring to the group of people. So let me just go ahead and give you the, the meaning for this. Maybe it will help you because yes, you could say customers, guests, but I'm talking about the specific group, like, whoa, uh-oh, no, <laughs> I went too far. I think you guys saw that. So yes, or it's a particular group of people who are involved in an activity. Um, and we're going for the word, Ibrahim, yes, party, party. So a very common question that you get to the restaurant and maybe the host or hostess is there and you want a table, they may ask you, like, how many are in your party? They're talking about the group that you are with. And you might say, well, there's two people or there's four people, but that's a very common question that a host or hostess will ask you, how many are in your party? And even if you're, let's say it's really busy and you're waiting for a table and they may announce the people who are the tables ready for, and they may say the last name and they would say like Smith party of five, Smith party of five. So again, they're talking about that group. Um, or Stevens, party of three, Stevens, party of three, and they would make that announcement and you're going to hear them use that word again, party, to talk about the group. 
All right, so uh, again, party has different meanings. Of course, many of you, if you think about party, you're probably thinking about like the celebration, but in this case, at our restaurant, they're referring to the group, like the group that you are with. How many are in your party? Now, <laughs> we're kind of going through this from the beginning, so we, we talked about some of the people. You go into the restaurant, the host or the hostess may ask you how many are in your party, and then they're going to take you to maybe one of these places. And this is trying to make a distinction about where you might sit in a restaurant. I think you guys, I think you probably definitely know this word up here at the top. So let me know in the chat, in the comments, we're talking about where customers may sit in a restaurant. And the reason why I'm making a distinction is because this Maybe it may be another question that the host or hostess may ask you. They say, oh, would you like to sit in a mm or mm? And they may give you a choice. Or sometimes people, maybe they have a preference and you would tell the host or hostess like, oh, we have, there are four people in my party and we would like to sit in a mm. What? All right, excellent. Uh, Lolly. Eloisa, nice. Um, yes, we're talking about a uh, table versus a booth. This is a table. I told you, I think everybody knew that. And this is a booth. Um, Gertrudis asks, good question. You're talking about at home, a host or a hostess at home. I think if we're just talking about home, it would just be a host. Somebody is the host. You're not gonna really differentiate between the gender. But often I think if you're talking about a restaurant, I don't know why, for some reason people like for, um, they would say like the man is the host, woman uh, hostess. But if it's just in general at the home, like you are going to be a host for a party, I think you'd just say host. And then maybe at a restaurant too, host could be either for a man or a woman. Um, either one, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's as big of a deal. So this is the difference between a table and a booth. Again, this is something, I, I think booth is something more specific. Some restaurants have them, other restaurants, they, you may not have them. Here you see a picture of, well, you have spoons, you have forks, and you have a knife. Together, together, what would you refer to this uh, set? You would refer to this as what? And there are several different words that, that you could use. For example, like let me give you the meaning because again, I told you all we're working backwards through this. I'm giving you pictures and then the meaning and then I'm gonna give you the different words that you could use. So I said, yes, it's a spoon, a fork and a knife used for eating a meal. Collectively, we can refer to this as what? All right, what would you guys say? Um, see how many different words you could think of to describe this. Uh, I got some good ones. Yes, Abraham, Sleepwalker, Eloisa, Be Happy, Perfect, uh, Armando. I would say, like, just for me, the word that comes to my mind, which I think maybe I would probably say is more common than some of the other ones, would be silverware, silverware. Another word you could say utensils because people talk about eating utensils. I don't think that's as common. Cutlery is another one. Specifically, I think cutlery really involves like if you're trying to cut things, um, like maybe you're eating a steak or something. In general, you could refer to it as cutlery. I think cutlery would definitely have to include a knife. But if you, you're just talking about um, maybe a combination of uh, I don't know, a spoon and a fork. You could refer to that as silverware. In general, silverware is the one, in my opinion, I think would be the one that's uh, most commonly used. Like sometimes uh, maybe it's not at the table and you might ask the waiter or waitress like, hey, we, we need one more set of silverware. Um, but yes, utensils, cutlery, those are also synonyms that you could use as well. Then we have this. Um, <laughs> I gave you, these are pictures, maybe you might not see it uh, at a restaurant, they may not bring you uh, bottles that look like this, but this is an example of, well, drinks. What would you use? And the word that I'm thinking of, I'm, 
I'm try I want you to think of the word that you would see on the menu. Okay, so I'm trying to give you a hint. You see, these are drinks, and really the meaning is I'm talking about a drink of any type. But what word would you see on the menu? Instead of um, instead of like seeing drinks, which you may see, people might ask for like, hey, can I have the drink menu? Uh, the waiter or waitress might ask you like, what would you like to drink? Drink is a very common word, but I think this is a word that you would see on many different menus. It's not a word that you're going to probably use um, speaking when you're, you're talking. Uh, so yes, excellent. Eloisa, Shazada, Esther, Lolly. We're talking about uh, a beverage. Beverage is just another word for drinks. And beverage is a word that you will likely see on the menu. And then they list the different drinks that they have available. So it's a good word to know, but it's not, again, beverage is not uh, a word that you might use. Um, I'm trying to think of a context, a situation in which somebody, uh, maybe the waiter or waitress, your server might say it. They would say like, oh, like here they, we have different uh, alcoholic beverages or we have non-alcoholic beverages if they're just trying to classify a, a set of drinks. But as a customer, it's probably not something that uh, you may end up using, but you'll see it on the menu. Uh, here is, okay, hopefully you can kind of tell um, what, what this <laughs> stuff is right here. In general, I would think of like salt and pepper, right? But there's a word that you can use to refer to salt and pepper, as well as some other things. They are considered, hmm, what, what is the word? Um, <laughs> all right, so... Gastrang beverage, excellent. Yes, beer, please. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, let me give you the meaning. Maybe this will provide a little more context and clarity. Talking about a substance such as salt. Um, I say salt or pepper are the two most common that you add to food to improve the taste. What would you say? Not, I know some of you are thinking spices, not spices. Again, this is... Um, restaurant, they would be on the table. This is the stuff you would find on the table. And it's probably a word that as a customer, you're not going to really use. But if you work in a restaurant, you would probably use this word a bit more. What I'm talking about, in case you have not heard of this word, some of you may not know it, it's a good word, condiments. So salt and pepper are generally referred to as condiments. But then you might have some other like sauces um, on there, maybe a hot sauce or ketchup or mustard, especially if in the United States, ketchup and mustard are very common. Um, and you would just refer to them in general as a condiment, condiments. Uh, so and I'm sure, like I said, many restaurants all over the world are a little different. I'm from the United States, so that's kind of what... I'm referencing when I'm talking about restaurant vocabulary. Let's continue with this next one. Now, let me provide some, um, give some clarity because yes, this is a menu, but I'm talking about a specific type of menu. And hopefully, uh, well, let me give you the meaning and perhaps that might make it a little easier. Yes, this is a menu, um, but I'm talking about a menu when you choose uh, each dish from a separate list instead of eating a fixed combination of dis dishes at a fixed price. So I think it's if you, you know, in the United States and you go to a restaurant, it's quite common that you order off of a menu and whatever you order, it comes with these different things. But sometimes at some restaurants, you order everything separately. And that, in that case, you would refer to it as what? Typically, we're, we are talking about, Zinat said, fine dining. Yes, we're talking about probably restaurants that are more expensive. It's considered fine dining. And in that case, you would say the menu is what? All right. And yes, excellent. Lali, Benaz. Um, we're talking about a menu and you would refer to it as a la carte. A la carte. So in this case... Uh, 
probably if you as the customer, you're asking questions about, well, does it come with this? The, the server may say, oh, everything is a la carte. That whatever you're looking at on the menu, it's separated, it has a separate price, everything is a la carte. So this would, that's what I meant when I'd say it's a specific type of menu, it's an a la carte menu, like everything is a la carte. Then we have, <laughs> all right, again, this is a very, you can tell I'm from the United States, I guess. This is a very, uh, very American uh, looking dish right here. And just look at the food and think about, I guess to give you a hint, when you would eat this food right here, when. So you go into the restaurant, we talked about the people you would see, the waiter, the waitress, the host, the hostess, the, the chef is in the kitchen. They are gonna ask you how many are in your party. You, they take you to either a table or a booth. You sit down, you get your beverage, you order drinks, you have your condiments on the table, your silverware, and then you are going to get uh, <laughs> this food. This is, it's a small amount of food eaten before a meal. And there are two different words that I think you could use. I think in the United States, one is more common than the other, in my opinion. Uh, and I think you guys got uh, most of the ones that I'm talking about. What I think of, the word that I tend to use is uh, an appetizer. But an appetizer, it's the same as a starter. I think this is another word that you'll see on the menu. It's going to say appetizers or starters, and it's going to list the different choices of food that you can have before you would have your main meal. You could say they're appetizers, starters. This is, a, this is a good example in the United States of food that people might order as an appetizer. I think they had some, there's some quesadillas there, some hot wings, some cheese sticks. Yes, those are uh, standard appetizers in the United States. Uh, the next one, okay, so now we're, we're talking about food, appetizers, this right here you would refer to as your what? I think many of you know this word, you, some of you wrote it for the last one, so you start with the appetizer, and this is your, mm. it is, to give you the meaning, it is the main dish of the meal. What would you say? It is your, and the, I guess there are, yeah, there are some words. Um, well, you said main course, yes. It is the main course, but that's not the word I'm looking for. It's just one word. Uh, it is also, I think it's a, it's a word that you would see on the menu as well. Maybe some restaurants would say main course. Other restaurants would just say this one word. And what I'm talking, I'm surprised I haven't uh, seen it. Everybody's all about the main course. I almost feel like uh, <laughs> one person says main course and then another and then everybody's boom, just piles on with main course. Uh, the, what I'm thinking of, the main dish of a meal, it, yes, it is your main course or it's your entree. So that's another word that I think is pretty common that you would see on the menu. You have, you would see beverage, appetizer or starter, entrees. And then they would list the different main dish uh, dishes that they have available for you to choose from. So main course, entree, the same thing, that main main dish of a meal. And I think, I don't know, I guess that's maybe some chicken. Uh, this definitely looks like a, an a la carte menu right here. Then we have uh, right here. Let's, I guess we're sticking with that theme thinking that it's uh, it's an a la carte menu. You, maybe you get your, your appetizer, your starter, you order uh, your entree, and then you have these right here. What would you, what would you call these? This is another, I think a good word, um, especially if you're talking about going to a restaurant in the United States. It's, uh, the, many restaurants, yeah, they would have, uh, they would have this available, or they, the server might ask you about this. I'm talking about an extra dish of food, for example, like it says uh, vegetables or a salad, it's served with the main dish, served with your entree, and it's sometimes on a separate plate. And if we're talking about like a la carte, I would then say it's, it's typically on a separate plate or in a separate dish. 
All right. They're not, uh, okay, you guys kind of close. Um, not talking about like, uh, it's not dessert snacks. Yes, you guys got it. Excellent. Uh, Angela, Mirta, um, you could say, I think some of you would be happy. Uh, side dish, uh, lolly, excellent. I'm just talking, I would just say sides. You could say a side dish, sure, but I think it's probably very common that, um, customers may ask like, hey, does it come with any sides? Or maybe the server would ask like, you can choose one side to go with your entree and then you would make a, a choice of what type of side you would like to have. But typically you could just say they're, they're side dishes or sides, either one, perfect. You could use either one, excellent. So I told you that, yeah, these words I think are very useful because I think they are common. I don't think they're very advanced. I only, I only chose uh, about 12, so not too many. I didn't want to go overboard. I kind of wanted to do that activity and kind of do things a little differently and showing you the picture, giving you the meaning, and then telling you the word, just doing everything in reverse from what I think people would normally do when we talk about building vocabulary um, and doing it this way. I think it's always good to kind of try to get you to elicit the vocabulary and think about these words. So these are very useful words if you're going out to eat in a restaurant, words that I think you need to know. If you guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Also, just wanna let you know if you guys wanna show us some love, support our channel. Saw some, a uh, lot of uh, members and patrons uh, with us today, Lolly, Gertrudis, Gustav. Uh, of course, thank you guys so much for being here, supporting the channel. There are links down in the description. Really helps all uh, make all of this possible, what goes on here at Interactive English. You guys are the backbone, the backbone of Interactive English. Uh, so uh, I hope that maybe you learned some new words today. Again, I tried to share some common words with you, but then as well talk about maybe how else people would refer to them, such as like silverware, utensils, cutlery. Uh, we mentioned um, some people, hopefully maybe host, hostess, maybe that was new for you. Um, waiter, waitress, server, there's different ways that you could refer to things, appetizers, starters. But I think especially now as, well, I think many countries are starting getting through this pandemic, Restaurants are starting to open where I live now um, in Hungary. They just kind of starting to open indoor uh, seating again. So I think it's, uh, I think many people want to get back out there, get go out to eat at a restaurant, um, start to normalize again. So this is useful vocabulary that I hope will help you out uh, in the future. Thank you guys. Give some shout outs uh, right now at the end. Thank you, uh, Lolly, Gustav, uh, Gertrudis. To Kyle, thanks for being here. Um, Esther, Elsie, Tankritika, Luisa, Mari, Hestina. Try trying to get as many shout outs as not as I can throughout the lesson. Hey one, you uh, sorry if I mispronounced names. Uh, of course, um, Tori. I hope that you guys enjoy the the rest of your weekend, and of course, I will be back next week with another live lesson to interact 